Uh, okay, let's continue here, kids. A few years ago, our next guest starred with Tom Hanks on a television program on ABC, I believe, uh, called uh, Bosom Buddies. He is currently playing one of the biggest jerks on television on Newhart, and he is actually the first person we've allowed on this stage who has been on Circus of the Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome actor Peter Scolari. Peter! I got to Thank you. You know, I've I've, en I've enjoyed your work ever since I've been aware of what you did on but uh, not the, and Buzzy uh, but and also the Newhart show and everything. Thank you. You're very good. I, I have to try something because it's tough to follow Scott with the with the fan. Yeah, yeah. Come on. All right, here's a stupid human trick. Are you ready? Yeah, but you, you really were never in any danger of removing no, an appendage. Not so. really. I added the, the stimulant to the last... <laughs> oh, well, see, we didn't realize that. <laughs> That's, so the difficulty know, goes up a couple kind of, of points. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, now, you, what did you do on Circus of the Stars? This kind of thing here? Uh, <laughs> with these chairs. Actually, uh, I started about oh, five, six years ago on Circus of the Stars. I'm a, I'm a juggler. I did a little mm -hmm. juggling. The next year they called and they said, uh, how about if you juggle on a high wire mm -hmm. this year? And at that time, I was recently divorced, so I said, you know, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, nothing to live for. It's kind of what I'd been doing all summer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mean something? I, I don't know what that means either. It just sounded like it was a definite place for yeah. a moan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you got to cue them up and they go. Yeah. Uh, so the, then this, now this brings us to about three years ago. Mm -hmm. This is when I learned that Circus of the Stars is not... Circus of the Stars. It's Circus of the Out of Work Actors. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> so coincidentally, I was out of work, so they were uh, looking for yeah. me. <laughs> Your name goes into the yeah, hopper. And they say, well, let's see. <laughs> His show's canceled. <laughs> yeah, the other guy's gone on. Yeah, let's get him. So they asked me if i do something really stupid, uh -huh. which was to do something like this, but without the upholstery. By the way, I love this stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe your I'm shampoo sure. isn't doing the job that, it, <laughs> that it's supposed to, Dave. It's time for the dinner X Now it should be somebody over here. Yeah. Have you seen that commercial? No. Yeah. Well, maybe yours isn't. You know? <laughs> anyway, so they said, we want you now to, you've done, you've juggled on the high wire. You did a little juggling a few years for us. Now we want you to stack and climb seven chairs mm -hmm. and on the top do a handstand. So you're high how off the... Uh, About 22 feet. Yeah. You know, which for a little guy like me is uh, it's a jump. Oh, you well, have a... Oh, have this it, yeah. is wonderful. Just, just arrived by special courier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And so you, you stand up there and juggle. Yeah, now this is... Let's see now. Oh, thank you. Mom, that, this is... Uh, and how about the, how about the, the girl? Babe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her name is... Uh, <laughs> it's my agent. Any calls? This, uh, this is Judy Pascal, actually. She's uh, with an Australian circus, Circus Oz, uh -huh. uh, who actually, while in the picture, it appears as though she's sort of uh, looking kind of unaffected by all of this. Right. She was a nice helper because while she's holding there, she's kind of holding the stack so yeah. that, you know, she's actually if I really screwed up, she's helping stabilize. Now, did, did you enjoy this experience? I did, actually. Yeah. It was painful. Yeah. But, I, but I'd been through that, too. Um, so anything else you want to do for us? Or you, uh, what do we do? We got uh, sure. well, we have to well, we have to do uh, identification, okay. and we'll come back here and see what okay. other things Peter has for us by way of entertainment. Back to the show, Peter Scolari is here, and uh, a little bit later, Wayne Cotter will be joining us for his network television debut, Maybe. <laughs> uh, Monday on the program, Marv Albert will be here, Richard Lewis, and Lynn Dakin will be here with a dishwashing demo. You, you know we're in a ratings period. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you ever talk to uh, Tom Hanks anymore? You guys my, were on that uh, series. My people long? talk to his people. <laughs> it's that kind of thing out in Hollywood. How long no, did that I show didn't. last? I guess we had a good two and a half years. And then didn't somebody bring it back? or bring Then it back? Uh, this, this wonderful network here, uh, NBC, brought it back a couple of summers ago. Yeah. Brandon Tartikoff uh, explained at a, at a press conference why 
he was bringing the show uh -huh. back due to the success of one of its stars. He said at a press conference, <laughs> I'll leave you to guess who it was. It wasn't, it wasn't my chair stacking that did it. <laughs> yeah. But, do you, are, but yeah, Tommy and I are still good buddies. Yeah. We we're very close friends. Yeah. He's a nice Dare man. I say, a very nice yeah. man. And yeah. we were really, we were bosom pals. There you go, yeah. Friends. Yeah. Yeah, we were, we were very close. And I, uh, but now I call, and his secretary says, I'll, I'll have him get back to you. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, don't worry. What about things on the show? How is it uh, working with uh, Bob? Bob is, uh, is a peach. Well, maybe people didn't know that. He's yeah. a delightful fellow. <laughs> <laughs> a peach who stammers. Yeah. Uh, very nice man. How does uh, he stammer? He, well, there's a difference now. There's stuttering, which is a guy that you kind of felt for right. in, in high school. You said, gee, is this guy ever even going get to get to college? Is mm -hmm. he going to get a job? He's the guy who said, what do you mean? You know. Yeah. Or he said, my name is M -m 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 Mike. Yeah. You, know? you know, you can cure that now by putting your tongue in a fan. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New development. Eh? So, uh, but yeah. Bob, more of a stammer. Bob, Bob now stammers, so there'll, there'll be a situation in which some bad information is coming to him. <laughs> and he's brought that information into mm -hmm. existence somehow by doing something, you know, with, within the realm of conscience at the outset. Mm -hmm. But it's turned back on him, of course, because he's, he's every man. <laughs> Or is he various men? Some, every, some men. Yeah. These, these odds and ends, sure. I guess, is what he is. For 200, please. Uh -huh. and, uh, but, but a stammer will, will leave him saying, well, a person will come in and say, well, how could this be? I, I put the money into the house, and, and I, I was told I would get the lease, and, uh, and then it, it backed out. Who could have done such a thing? Who could have, who could have killed this, squashed this thing that's so important to, to my life? Cut to Bob. Well, that... that <clears throat> That, 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 that would be me. <laughs> you know. So the guy, you know... The guy, you know, we, we learn 17,000 lines. Mm -hmm. You know, we do the setups. We, then they cut to Bob. That, <clears throat> that, that would be me. And yeah. he, he scores. The show's very funny. It's Everybody on it's great. And we, we have a lot of fun. In yeah. fact, our writers, I think, are like pals with your writers or something. They said to say hello. Do they uh, all know we, each we other? We should put an end to that immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Because people are talking. Look, you know, we're just out of time, Peter. You yeah. got all of this equipment. Do something really mm. quick here, mm -hmm. really spectacular. I have the man a great, is uh, multi-talented. He brought his own Indian my own, uh, My own toys, but I have a great, a, a great trick for right. a stupid human trick. All right, trick. quickly, let's see it. Here it comes. You okay. ready? Watch, watch these. There's a little, Larry. It's a little juggling setup here, yeah. Dave. I'm going to turn it so that, well, that you can see it. Yeah! yeah. Very nice. Isn't that cute? Oh, nice. Yeah. Peter, thank you very much. Come back anytime. We'll be right back with Wayne Cutter. After starring with Tom Hanks for two years in a show called Bosom Buddies, our next guest became a regular player on uh, Newhart. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Peter Sklari. Peter. Hi, Peter. How you doing? Good to see you. How are you? I'm great. Good to see you again. You having a good summer? I'm having a pretty good summer. You have, uh, you have a brand new baby, I, I understand. I do, indeed. Is this I your a, first? I have a picture of him right here. Let's take a look at it. Here he is. No. Oh, my God. This is not him. This is for you, Dave. This is, uh... <laughs> well, it looks a little like this. What, what is that exactly there? This is, we... uh... This is a friend of mine, Omar Valdez, here, drew this. He wanted you to have it. Uh -huh. he, he took this from a, uh, a dental impression uh -huh. of, a, right. of a Harvey P. Carr. So uh -huh. Well, I'll anonymous. certainly certainly cherish this. Well, thank, you for, so. thank you very much. Uh, so tell me about your new, uh, as a baby... <laughs> <laughs> baby boy or baby girl? It's a baby boy. And how old? He is now seven weeks. What is he's back. Name? He's. Oh, yeah. oh there of, he is right there. Baby fan. And then I'm guessing. Oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> the cutie. And uh, that, of course, would be the wife and mother. No, I've never seen that one. <laughs> uh, no, that is my wife, and she's uh, 20, 30 weeks old. How do you do? Nice That's, to see you, man. Is this your Deborah. first visit to the World Trade Center? <laughs>
She uh, won't talk. She's shy. That's a beautiful baby. Yes, thank yeah. you. He's uh, a good guy. And you you also have a brand new house? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's uh we moved in about three months ago and people thought we were a little crazy to move into a house with a baby on the way, but it, it worked out pretty well. No, it seems to be perfectly the, the perfect timing. It timed out fairly well. It's yeah. uh we were in the house about six weeks and we found that uh, in doing a title search mm -hmm. that you have to do that WC now, what, what does Field. What mean exactly? Do you find out if there are any other liens on the property yes, exactly or something right. like that? Yes, yeah. uh, legal. It's a legal problem, mm -hmm. and they they found out that W. C. Fields built this house mm -hmm. in 1926, mm -hmm. and we found so immediately we scoured through the house to try and find any remnants, you know, gin bottles. Yeah. We did. We did in fact find uh, the top of a film canister, yeah. which and I checked was... with a with a guy I work with. He said, "Yeah, this is nitrate." Yeah. Mm -hmm. This would hold the nitrate uh -huh. stock, the old film. Yep. And, and absolutely worthless. Absolutely worthless. Yeah. Is, is, it a, is it a big, rambling, old kind of uh, Spanish is, stucco a, Hollywood mansion? It's not. Well, the stucco we had removed. <laughs> <laughs> Took all the little pips off. Yeah. Can be done now. Uh, uh, did I see you uh, Sunday in Pasadena or not? Yes, it was me. Oh, it was not my evil twin. Yeah, this was uh, the big Emmy Awards, the 40th Annual Emmy Awards. The 40th Awards. Annual Emmy Awards. Yeah, did yeah. you enjoy yourself? I had a good time for, oh, 20, 30 minutes there. It was just... Really? I was, I was sailing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, had the, I had the nominee's seat, you know. It was uh -huh. my second right. year as a nominee. I was uh -huh. pretty, pretty comfortable. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, nothing happened from there. Well, that's all the right. The seating was good, and I was pleased about that. Well, it doesn't make any difference if you who win. Who cares right? who wins? I don't think that's the... Yeah, I mean, well, you don't think that. You guys were up for four or five yeah. awards. We, you did, we won nothing. You didn't win but anything. That doesn't really and that doesn't... It. No. It's just... Um, but I, you know, I must say, I, this was this was actually the first one of these that I sat through. Well, you hosted <laughs> last. <laughs> yeah, even, even that one I left early. Uh. <laughs> I could, that one I couldn't tolerate. Um, uh. So, and you're playing golf. You've taken up the sport of I'm golf. I'm into golf now. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm at, at that point now where I'm not ashamed to admit it. Where, why were you ashamed to, to well, admit it? Well, you know, anybody who was even remotely a, a real athlete, a guy who dealt with things moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go play golf and there's a little bit of... Uh, well, Tom Poston got me started you, on you, the game. You're taking it up late in life or later I, well, in life. Well, later in life. Later in life. I'm in yeah. my 30s yeah. now. No, I didn't mean to imply that you had <laughs> just a mere matter of days left. It's all right. There is a... <laughs> There is a premature senility that sets in when you start teeing up a little uh -huh. ball and hitting it, though. Yeah, but you enjoy it, or uh, are really you good do. at it? I'm, I'm fairly good at it. Yeah, like how good is fairly good? I, I shoot in the 80s uh -huh. uh, now and then, and... Uh... What happens when it's warmer? <laughs> ah, thank you, ladies <laughs> so and gentlemen. Sorry. Good night. Um... <laughs> how about the back nine? But I want to tell you, <laughs> you don't mind me adjusting my watch for no. the next 10 minutes. Whatever you? you feel like you have to do. Really, I need this, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. No, but I love golf. It's a wonderful game, and I was goaded into it. Because Tom Poston said, well, you, you were a, a football player in baseball, track. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I did, I did all that. And he says, well, so you hit a ball. When it's coming at you faster, you can hit it. Sure. I said, sometimes I can. Yeah. He said, well, you ought to try this. The ball just sits there. Stationary. Yeah. So I went out, yeah. you know, and uh, I whiffed more than I ever did in baseball. Yeah. I, I played a little bit when I, uh, when I first got out of college, and it's, it was, for me, the most frustrating, irritating, angering experience of my life. It's an, yeah. It's a funny thing. That's, maybe that's part of the hook. It's an yeah. awful, and, awful and, game. Yeah, and the real problem is if you, uh, during 18 holes, if you hit only one decent shot, exactly. that's enough to bring you back again. Exactly right. Yeah, and the craziness starts all over again. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Uh, congratulations on your oh, new baby. Thank you and very your much. And new, new house. Thanks. Thank man. you so much for being here. Well, uh, we'll be back, folks. So, Paul, we have balloons filled with hydrogen yeah. and a flame, and I see a guy doing this. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking my head's going to explode. Yeah. And, and now, for the remainder of the show, we'll have that aromatic fragrance of uh, burning hair. Well, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Did you get singed? No. Hey, what, what about this? Look out. Look out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Now see, wouldn't that qualify as a dangerous toy? Absolutely. 
I would think so. Nothing like a huge thing of hydrogen in yeah. a flame. Well, what about a burning toupee, huh? It's... No, it's not. It was his actual hair that caught fire. Ah. We wouldn't shortchange you. Uh, our next guest is an accomplished and extremely agile actor who plays the part of Michael Harris on uh, each week's uh, New Heart. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program, Peter Sklari. Peter? Oh, my God! Are you all right, sir? Oh, easy. Oh, yes. oh okay. Is he all right? <laughs> Whoa, look Whoa. out. God. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Sorry. There you go. I'm Please sorry. sit down. Can I get you a beverage? I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be okay now. Slipped on. I slipped on a bill. Oh. <laughs> That's my oversight. How are you? I'm well. What do you have? It looks like you have three canned hams. It, yeah. Yep. And the purpose of those? I'm not sure, Dave. <laughs> those, are, those aren't your canned hams? You cook them up and then you. I guess you could for the holidays, perhaps. Nice to see you. My pleasure. You're, you're in town for the holidays? Yes. Uh-huh. And you have a brand new, well, not a brand new, but you have a baby. He's been around a while yeah. now. He's 17 months. So this uh, will be the first, uh, or does he know what's going on with the holidays? He yet? knows. He has a good idea what's going on. Yeah. Now. Yeah. We took him, uh, we got in late last night. We took him over to uh, the, the big tree out front. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. He went crazy. Yeah. We had our little uh, Christmas skating party down there last night. A lot of fun. Very nice. Yeah. I saw the, uh, the kids with the bells backstage. Very... This very, show's got everything. It's very, very festive. Exciting. Oh, yes, yeah. we do. And not to mention canned hands. And the canned hands. Why don't you do whatever it is you're going to there do with those? There was some discussion of juggling something. Well, well sure, I said, do it. Juggle know, them. I, well, I didn't expect them to be in a can. You want them uncanned? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, go ahead and try it. Can you draw it? Although it is with natural juices. Uh -huh. and the, <laughs> but but what, the, what the gelatin you... scares me. All right. Enough kidding around. All right. Huh? Yeah. Come on. I think so. I'll give it a try. All right. Anton. I'll be over here if you need yeah, me. Yeah, it's going to be a little dangerous. Okay. It won't go too long for us. Very impressive. Now, you used to, uh, you worked, you did actually street performing like that at one I did, time, right? I did, for where, a while. Where did you do that? Until I was asked to stop. Oh. Uh, here. Here in New York City? I was working uh, off-Broadway here in a rep company, and... Uh, Actually, I was playing a street juggler in a, in a 17th century uh, artsy sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I came out on, uh, like whenever I had a free afternoon, I would come out and work. Actually, not far from here. I'd work right. up uh, the church, uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, of course. Uh, and the, there's churches along Fifth Avenue. I would, I, would, I would actually constantly be asked to stop. Would you make a lot of money, though? Before I didn't they... do badly. Actually, yeah. one night... What would be a good take for you? Believe it or not, one night I made a little over $100. Wow. And I worked about... Thank you. <laughs> uh, worked about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. There were really good jugglers at that time. I mean, I think I've become a better juggler since. Now, if, if people want to stay in that kind of work, where do they go from being street performers? I'll tell you, they can make... Uh, to a certain uh, point, they can make more money staying on the street than, mm -hmm. than getting out. Yeah. I mean, it's like doing stand-up work for a juggler. It's, it's a terrible grind, and there's 50 other guys doing yeah, it, yeah. you know. All right, we have to, uh, we have to do, uh, I, I have no idea what you said. We have to do, uh, we have to do a station identification, then we'll be back here. Presley, right, Paul? Blue Christmas. That's right. What year? Oh, I don't know. Well, take a guess. Uh, 63, would... exactly. Is it 63? I think it was 63. Yeah. Uh, Peter Sklari is here, and uh, also uh, Lenny Kravitz is here, and uh, so where were we? Now, in addition to your own real-life baby, you're having one on the show, huh? Yes, yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, January 8th, we give birth, Michael and Stephanie give birth to a... Mm -hmm. To a child. Have they been married long? I wasn't even aware that they had gotten married. They were married at the end of uh, last season. Uh, and uh, when we came back this fall and started filming shows, Michael and Stephanie returned from a cruise and she was six months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's some cruise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess they didn't like the food. And, and how, how will this be uh, handled? Do you have... Uh... Tastefully, yeah? Dave, I think. Yeah. Uh, 
or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, well, I, I promise uh, Stephanie, because my character wants to, to film the, the blessed event, mm -hmm. which, I, as I understand, is not an uncommon occurrence these days. Videotape uh, yeah. machines? But she makes me yeah. promise I won't bring my video cam, my little portable thing, right. into the, to the delivery room, and I, and I agree to that. And then I, I show up with three studio cams and a crew of 15. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> <laughs> she throws me out, and I get a little dejected, and I hang out with my, my buddies, Newhart and, and, and Poston's characters, and they, uh, they ply me with some television beer. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> the old TV beer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And three sips of television beer, and I'm gone. Uh -huh. babe. And uh, so I, I come back to the delivery room, not, not really drunk, because we had a problem with standards and practice. Right, because there's nothing, nothing funny about Nothing about funny about a guy. No. Not really. Yeah. Well, it depends on the guy, I guess. <laughs> no. Nothing funny about me being drunk or, like, or TV drunk, I uh, think. Actually, I think it was more concerned about my acting in general. <laughs> so, uh, so we had to make these kind of references to, uh, well, Michael, you're doing your, your Foster Brooks impression. Oh, I see. Yeah. Nobody knew who Foster Brooks was, it was the concern, so uh -huh. they changed it to Dean Martin, and evidently people had heard of Dean Martin. <laughs> people know Dean Martin as a drinker more than Foster Brooks. I, I guess. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? That, that, that <laughs> they, would be a delineation there. <laughs> you know, they really, they labor over this. The writers, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm not teasing them. Uh, uh, well, I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure, you're 3,000 miles away. What, what do you heck? care? Come yeah. on. Uh, so, so anyway, it turned out pretty well, you think, the episode? I think so, yeah. Michael is, uh, Michael, my character's a little tipsy. Mm -hmm. I don't think we were allowed to say tipsy. I think in general you're not allowed to say. Oh, you can say oh. tipsy here. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Hey. And there's another word That's you can fine. say here that I said last night, but I'm not going to say it tonight. Oh, all right. Because we're getting ever closer to the holidays, and yeah. I think it's not and appropriate. Let's show a little. Yeah. Uh, now, do, uh, can you do some impressions for us? We've seen you juggle. We've talked about your yeah, show. that was some impressive in, stuff. In, huh? Do you have impressions for us? I do. I have a very obscure impression. Uh -huh. I have Shelley Winters. Shelley Winters. Been a guest on the show here. Has she? Yeah. Huh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Dave, I was at a party in 1958, and a man came up to me, and he said, uh, How are you, Shelley? And I said, I'm, I'm fine. Who are you? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So nice. Uh, They're festive. Like, They're in a festive, festive mood. Yeah. Uh, for the holiday. Yeah, that's right. They've been dodging so bells I, I, all night. I, I, well, I said, who are you? Said, I'm Bill Holden. as your first husband. <laughs> <laughs> and now what a... It's not as good as the barber. I, I, oh, yeah. I saw that you know in the in the green room, and I know a little tear. You think about getting out of the business when you see something like that, don't you? <laughs> you did a great getting impression. Out of the barber right, business. Who's the baseball manager? Uh, you did. Uh, Sparky Anderson. Boy, that was good. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was appreciated. I don't think you had yeah. this kind of crowd. <laughs> really. No, we're not. No, forget it. Because uh, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> well, it was good. You I do mean, you do an impression of Jackson Brown? Is that correct? No. No, I once did Shelley Winters doing Jackson Brown. <laughs> it was when my hair was longer, and I, it was the kind of thing she went in, you know, mm -hmm. doctor, my eyes. I, but I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think, boy, they turn on you yeah, fast here. Yeah. <laughs> kind, uh, <of, laughs> kind of holiday vendetta. Kind so of. you're, uh, you're back into, th now this is where you're from originally, so you see all your family yes, and all your friends? it's very exciting to come back to New York. Right. And it's a New York Christmas. You and know the, what I'm saying? Uh, the show is, is in its... And it's right in the middle in its of its eighth season. That's I'm in my sixth. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. It's a <laughs> so great show, sorry. and you're very funny. And Merry Christmas. Thank you, Thank you for being here. We'll be right